Hi, my name is Thomas Johnson, and I'm the founder and CEO of Get Up and Get Fit Wellness Concierge. I'm also a C-suite advisor and investor, and you're listening to the How May I Serve You podcast, where I'm constantly on the quest to surround myself with the best coaches while learning how to better serve our executive clientele by asking them, how may I serve you? Today's show is sponsored by Get Up and Get Fit. And Get Up and Get Fit will be providing students with textbooks and school supplies in Cambodia in honor of our guest today, as well as our philanthropic mission to impact at least 50,000 people per year. And today's guest is Joe, Joe S. Joe, I want you to, I want you to pronounce your full name, all right? Joe S. Joe Szynski or Szynski in Polish <laughs> or Chichinski. I don't care what you call me, just call me. Got you. And that's why I didn't want, want to butcher your name. <laughs> hey, hey, life is fun. Um, you know, it, it, when, when I worry about names, that, that, that's the last thing. It's about what's in the heart, man. It's about what's in the heart. Got you. I definitely respect that. So Joe was actually in the military. and He is very organized and is well-structured in his framework and also the way he carries his life. He's the owner and co-founder at BrainShare Business Mentor. His tagline when he meets people is, Let's get on the court and see what we can do to help the universe. And I love that tagline. <laughs> His passion is mentoring CEOs and executive teams who want to be in control of the growth and expansion of their business. His clients develop and grow in confidence, agility, awareness, and leadership essentials. One thing is for sure, they explain their influence, communicate more effectively, cultivate strong business and personal relationships and develop a powerful team so the company can focus on exponential growth. That's amazing right there, Joe. That's amazing. It's my honor and privilege to help people. <laughs> yes, indeed. Even when I met you the first time, like you had this bubbly energy, you know, and that's what attracted me to you right there, Joe. <laughs> well, thanks, Thomas. It's an honor and privilege to be here, and it's an honor and privilege to help anybody that asks for help. Awesome, awesome. So, Joe, let's, let's dive into... Um, who is Joe Sosinski, right? I'll make sure um, I, get, I get your name right once again. So tell us the too many version of who is Joe, right? Where are you from? How you got started? The too many version. I know we need more than two minutes, but just for the... I, I, I'll go fast, but first I want to thank you and, and your organization for everything that you do. Um, I've been to Cambodia. Um, I've been to Angkor Wat. I've been around. So thank you so much for what you do to help the universe. Yes, indeed, man. You know, it's my pleasure. You know, that's, that's part of my that's part of my calling right there. You know, you, you have to give. You definitely have to give back. And, and, that, and that's what the, the, the world is all about. The, the more we give, the more we help the universe. And that's that's why I'm here and, 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 and an honor and privilege to be on this with, show with you. So thank you. I'm Joe Szynski. Okay, I was born in France, raised in Arnold, Missouri. Grew up in South Korea and live in the middle of Silicon Valley, the most expensive place on the planet, the middle of all kinds of startups. So I get to help people. Um, I spent a, uh, a, a 12 years, six years active duty with the United States military, military intelligence, which is an oxymoron, and I got the stories to prove it. I spent a phenomenal 25-year career with a little company called Hewlett Packard Agilent Technologies as they spun off and uh, had a phenomenal career, retired in 2007, and uh, my, my goal was to go buy an island. But what a little thing happened in 2008 when all my real estate crashed and burned. <laughs> so everything happens for a reason. Mm. That got me started on Brainshare Business Mentors because I looked around and I saw so many businesses that were struggling and didn't know how to build a business that works without you. Because building a business is just like building a house. You got to have that strong foundation and then you build up. So many businesses try to jump into the middle of, uh, of you know, their marketing, their sales and everything else. But without your goal setting, your time allocations, your processes and your financials, you're going to crash and burn. And my job is to help them understand that and then move up that value chain to create a sustainable, predictable, stable, consistent and emotionally connected business. That's what it's all about. A business that works without you. Otherwise, you have a job or a hobby, which is okay if that's what you want. It's all about your goals. What do you want? Because our business is to support our personal lives, not to be our lives. And it's my honor and privilege to help people. 
Yes, indeed. And I love that right there. So, so Joe, have you always been this energetic, this bubbly man since you, since you, you, were, you, were, you were a child? Man, talk to me about that. Let's, let's I, dive I, back into your childhood. You, you know, you know, I, 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 not always. I remember my dad telling me, um, uh, you know, I, I came home from school one day and he, he says, says, Joe, looks like you had a bad day. I said, oh, you know, I was all kind of d- down in the dumps. He goes, congratulations. I said, what? And he goes, congratulations. I said, well, what do you mean? I said, I hate He goes, if you don't have bad days, you don't know what good days are. Mm. And I was like, wow. So when you have a bad day, it's like, guess what? Had a bad day. It's okay. <laughs> but I, I start off every morning with, uh, you know, my, my morning routine. I do some meditation and everything. But one of the first things, you know, one of the things I do during my meditation is how do I make at least three people help them with their business? And how do I make at least five people smile? And you know what? When, when people smile, it just contributes to the good of the universe. So um, by being, you know, energetic and getting that out, I, if I'm helping people, man, you know, you know, Zig Ziglar said to me when, back in the, the early, the early 80s, if you, know, you want to make a million dollars, help a million people. Mm-hmm. And when you make a million dollars, you can help a whole lot more people than when you have a hundred dollars. Yes, indeed. Yeah. It's all, it's all about that positioning, right? You position yourself so you can help others. And a lot, a lot of folks don't understand that. They don't really get that part, you know? It, it's, but you know, I, I mean, this goes way back. It's better to give than receive. I mean, how many times have we heard that? And actually, when you give something, you watch that that reaction. Mm-hmm. That's my energy. When I watch a, a business go from, um, you know, not making money to making money and helping the community because they're hiring people, that's contributing to the power of the universe. Okay. So, um, Joe, let's talk about your company name for a second, right? Brain Shear Business Mentors. How did you come up with that name? So, as I was, you know, getting this started, I watched so many people that didn't understand where their brain share needed to be at a specific space and time. So, um, just like you, Thomas, you, you've kind of got to be the CEO and the VP of marketing and the VP of sales and the CFO, and you got to wear all these different hats. Well, if you're thinking like a, a marketing guy and you're trying to do CFO work, you're not going to be very good at it, or if you're bouncing back and forth. So I've created a system that utilizes NLP techniques along with modalities and time blocking to create a system that you get eight hours back in your work week. Now, if you had eight more hours, you could actually start doing something with your business. So brain share is all about where is your brain share at a specific space and time so we can be effective at it. Got you, got you. Isn't so, that so, interesting? Def- it definitely is. So for Joe, for those people that don't know what NLP means. Oh, right? neuro-linguistic I, I, programming. So you can consciously change your subconscious mind. I know NLP has got some negative connotations to it, but whenever you utilize your modalities, you get very, very effective and efficient. Exactly, exactly. It's all about being intentional. So why did you get into coaching in the first place and being a business mentor, right? What led you down that path? Well, after I retired in 2007 and 2008 hit and I was kind of stuck because my real estate investments were underwater and I couldn't go by my island. So I, I was looking around going, what can I do to help? And I saw in 2008 during the recession, man, I'm just walking around and looking down El Camino Real and seeing these businesses, you know, out of business, out of business. And I'm like, what can I do to help that? And that's how I got started because it's all about helping the, uh, helping the universe, man. Okay. Okay. So what's your, um, I know you mentioned the NLP, but what is your, your coaching style, right? And your, your mentorship style. I mean, are you more of a nurturer? Are you more, because I know you're very systematic, even like oh, the behind you right there, you're very yeah. organized. You have the designs, you have the, you know, you have the, the various steps. So well, I want you to share with the viewers and the listeners. Well, well, the, the reason I'm so systematic is I want to focus my energy on my clients and where they're at. And my job is to align to them, not them align to me. Mm. So, yeah, I've got systems, okay. processes, and tools, but every business is unique. Every business is different, and every business is a different space in the overall building your business. My yeah. job is to align to them, figure out where they're at, and what I can do to help them get to the next step. Not for them to say, oh, here's my process. Here's what you got to follow. That's a bunch of baloney. Nobody wants that crap. Excuse my language. So my, my job is to align to them. 
if they're a very analytical person, I need to come down to the and communicate with them the way that they want to communicate, whether mm -hmm. it's, you know, visual, auditory, or kinesthetic, whether they're learning, you know, whether their their disc profile is, is, is DIS or C. And, and I don't care what kind of personality profiling tools you use or whatever. It's all about aligning with them so it resonates. Communication is about the response you receive. Yes, if you're not receiving, if you're not reacting the way that I, I want you, it's my job to communicate differently. Mm -hmm. So that's my style is I communicate aligned to where my clients are, not them aligning to my processes and tools. Yeah, I got those, but those are just tools. You got to know how to use the tool. Yeah. No, I believe more coaches need to embody that mindset, that flex, that flexibility, you know, be able to move like water, like Bruce Lee said, right? Be like water. Yeah, be, be like, <laughs> yeah, don't, don't be the glass, be the water. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So, um, Joe, if someone were looking for a coach, what traits would you advise them to look for? So, first of all, I, I would interview. I mean, that's 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 an intimate relationship. I mean, I get I, I know more about my clients than the therapists do. I mean, mm. it's because it, it, it's it, it's a relationship that you've got built on trust. And so interview them. Um, look for, do they have the the skills, training, knowledge that you're looking for? Do they have the educational experience? Do they have the, the actual um, practical experience? And, and interview them, make sure they align with you because um, don't, don't, you know, it's just like you're not going to, or I won't go just talk to one doctor. I'm going to go find the doctor that resonates with me. I'm going to go find the accountant that resonates with me. I mean, your, your, your business mentor is as important as your accountant. So interview them and, and, you know, you you should outgrow your coach if you, or your business mentors, if you've got good ones, you should be outgrowing them. That's normal. Hello? We're back. Okay, you know what? It's my mic. It's going, it's going, it's, the battery is low. <laughs> yeah. So I, I was saying before, what you just mentioned, that was the first time I've heard anyone mention that. You should outgrow your coach if they're a good coach, you know? Um, that's amazing right I, here. I, you know, I, I, I've got three coaches and, and, and I've outgrown my first one and, the, and I've gone to the second one and I'm on my third business coach i've also got you know a, a, a other coach i've got my personal trainer coach my health coach you know i've got my wife who coaches me on everything <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you definitely can't outgrow that way <laughs> no that one that one's been, been been over 30 years and uh you know i don't know how she's put up with me for this long i think i would have divorced myself <laughs> oh man so so joe let's I me mean, let's dive into storytelling i want you to share with us um, one or two success stories where one of your clients um, utilized your framework to achieve success. So well, one of my favorite one was uh, the, this client came in. He was running a $20 million business and said, hey, Joe, I think I better actually make this a business now because it was a hobby for him. And he built it up. Now, making a, you know, running a $20 million business, you should be making some money. Um, the, the challenge was he wasn't. So, mm. so we went back and we start, you know, you have to, sometimes you have to go back to the very basics and he wasn't allocating his time, right? He hadn't set any goals for years. Um, his processes systems were not in place. They were just winging it. His financials were, it, it took over a year to get the financials cleaned up with an accountant. So we brought in a good accountant, a great accountant. We started looking at their processes. We set their goals. We, we built their time allocations to achieve those goals. And, and what in two and a half years, we went from approximately a $2 million valuation to a $20 million valuation. That's a big jump. Yeah, but it's but when you know what you're doing and put a plan in place, and I call it a roadmap. OK, so you, you you know, you've got all this stuff to do. You can't do it all at the same time. Your head will explode. 
So we put together a roadmap. What needs to get done on a week-by-week basis for the next year? And then you go to the next year and you review that every quarter. Okay, what needs to get done? Guess what? The world's changed. I need to do something different. What do I need to do differently? So, and we did that until we got to, and when we got to that 20 million valuation, actually it was about 10 million. He goes, you know what, Joe? I think I want to start another company. Okay. (laughs) And I said, okay, let's get this business working without you. And he was actually able to spend 90% of his time on the new venture and the other business was running itself. He's Mm -hmm. yeah. He kept his finger on the pulse, make sure everything was, nothing was crashing and burning, but he didn't have to spend you know, uh, 40 hours a week on it, he was spending maybe two to three hours a week looking at the financials, looking at the customer feedback, looking at the employee feedback. You see, that's the beauty of the brain share methodology right there. The, the brain share structure, the method. It, <laughs> Definitely. It, it, it's it, it's simple. It's not easy. Mm, mm, it's simple, but not easy. Now, I want you to break it down for the audience. What do you mean by that saying? It's simple, but not easy. Well, well, it's like, okay, you say, you know, I'm going to build a house. It's pretty simple, right? But it's not easy. It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of material. It takes you, you got to put the foundation in place. And, and it's not just about knowing how to do it. You've got to understand and implement it. You don't know something until you actually do it. It's like changing a tire. You can read a book about changing a tire, but until you actually change a tire, you don't understand it. Exactly, because you have to know what, where exactly to put the jack, right? You have to know how high to lift up the car to extract the tire before. It- <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah, because it doesn't tell you that in the manual. And, and guess what? You just start jacking up, and, and, and you get it too high, it gets wobbly. And, oh, man, <laughs> until you actually do it. Now, the 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 power of selecting a business mentor is they should have already done it at mm-hmm. least once. <laughs> If not two, three, four, five times, um, I, I've been doing this for 14 years now, and I, I it's my honor and privilege to help. You know, I, I look at helping 2,000 businesses every year, and I've been doing that for the last six years. Ooh, wow. You know, the first three years were tough. I didn't, I, I didn't even know what I didn't know. Yeah, but then now, now look, now look where you're at. You over here, you're crushing it. You're definitely crushing it. Well, so, and, and, and and I put it all into an e-learning system so more people can access it. And that's brainshare.online. So uh, a lot of people can't afford a business mentor. So there's tools out there that don't cost you a lot of money that can get you moving forward. And if you're not sure what to do, give me a call. It's my honor and privilege to help people. Got you. So while we're on that topic, right, um, I want you – first, I want you to – let us know if you're working on any current projects. And afterwards, I want you to um, share where, where we could find you. So so what, what I'm working on right now is, I, well, I've got multiple projects. I, I sit on the board of directors for the American Red Cross and for College of Adaptive Arts and for the Chamber of Commerce here. So I've got little projects going on with all them. Yeah, my, you know, well, you got to give back, right? My biggest uh, focus right now is on brainshare.online, which is putting everything that I've learned into an e-learning system where more people can access it and learn how to build a business that works without you. Because um, I, I've only got so much of my time and I want the whole universe to know, how do you build a business from the ground up? They don't teach you this in MBA school. I, they teach you about how to build a Fortune 50 company. The case studies are Fortune 50 companies. Mm-hmm. 90% of businesses, yeah. 90, 99% of businesses are not Fortune 50 companies. They're the, the you know, the one, two, three, five million dollar companies. And, and understanding how to build that and setting your goals and building what you want that's what's important. It's about achieving your, the business goals should achieve your personal goals. And that's what it's all about. Yes, indeed. So Joe, one more time, mention the website one more time, where, where they can find you. Brainshare.online is the website. It's brainshare.online. And there's a link up there that says schedule some time with Joe. Just schedule some time. You can also find me on LinkedIn. Um, my other uh, website is brainsharecoach.com. Find me wherever you can or 408-899-6737. Call my, uh, my, my team and we'll get to, we'll, we'll have some fun. And, and I'll guarantee you, 
you're going to get something out of our our call. Yes, indeed. Definitely. So, Joe, thank you for coming on today's episode of How May I Help You? And um, I have one last question for you before we leave, right? And that question is, how may I serve you? Um, you tell me what I can do to help you because you're helping the universe. So, <laughs> um, so, oh, I hear you. Here's how you can help me. Read my book, Brain yeah. Share. How business owners make more money, have more time. And you can see all the different modalities that you probably have to be to run your business, at least when you're starting out. So, so Joe, can we also access that on book on Amazon as well? No? Yes, you can. It's on Amazon and Barnes and Noble. It's called Brain Share, How Business Owners Make More Money, Have More Time. And it's written to be read in about an hour and a half. So it's a ton of information, not a lot of fluff. If you want fluff, then we can go have, you know, go have some fun somewhere else. But this is all about how do you take that information and implement it? Because knowledge without implementation is just a waste of energy. It is. It is indeed. So, Joe, once again, thank you for coming on. And to all of our listeners and viewers, thanks for letting us your ears and your eyeballs. And once again, this is your host, Thomas Johnson. If you enjoyed today's episode, please feel free to share it with someone else that would benefit. And we're out, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Cheers, Thomas. Thank you. Bye, Joe.